I think the greatest challenge is to ensure that there is community engagement. Uh, as I said, when you see uh, Opportunity Zone investments, it's because there is going to be a return there, uh, a return for that, that fund. But we need to make sure that that community is engaged, whether it's uh, you know mixed use and uh, development, are there opportunities for jobs and, and future uh, participation from the community. Uh, there is the potential for gentrification. You're going into areas that haven't typically uh, received uh, private sector uh, investment, which is going to increase uh, the value uh, and property values uh, in that area. So it, while it can have that challenge, I think if properly approached and, and, and balanced, it will be a win-win for all. I think if we are thoughtful about opportunity zones, if we educate communities, local governments and investors like we've done here at the Keenan Institute today, then people can all be on the same page and working towards the same goal, which is really the betterment of that community. And then we will see some positives from them. If it is a game where it's just the return on investment and just scoring the tax um, deferrals, um, then, then I don't think the investment side will be as in tune with the communities as they could be. So for me, in order for it to be positive, we really have to educate everybody, bring them together, make sure they talk to each other, and that they really achieve that vision working together.